Here we are, the first day of Lent. It is Ash Wednesday. It is also Valentine's. I hope you have expressed love and appreciation to all the people that have invested in you over this year. Um, a theme that you're always going to see in Lent is God's love is unfailing. Uh, the verse that I want to bring to you is 1 John 3, 1. See what love the Father has given us that we should be called children of God. Now, I know as a father that sometimes I'm, I don't love my kids well. I want to, but I don't always do it. I get in the flesh. I get frustrated. I get angry. Um, I don't spend enough time with them. I'm not listening to them. And it's sometimes we can translate our failings as a father or a mother uh, into the way we perceive God. We can say, well, we haven't been to church lately or we haven't... Um, read our Bible enough, we haven't prayed enough, we haven't done these things, and we feel like God rejects us, or that He's angry with us, or He's frustrated. And it just isn't true. There's something very profound that God wants to do. He wants you to understand that you are His child, and that His love for you is, in fact, unconditional. So Lent represents the 40 days that Jesus spent in the wilderness being tested and tried. And I have to feel that Jesus went to such a dark place that the question was there. And we know the enemy came and tempted him. And the question is, does, does the Father love me? Am I connected? And, of course, we know that Jesus, being God in flesh, he passed that test. He understood of God's unfailing love. And he was able to express that to us as well, that we are children of God and we are loved by him. So I want you to think about this. Where are the places of shame? Where are the places of discouragement and failing that you don't approach the Lord with because you're afraid of his rebuke? Take those places to the Lord and sit with him in prayer you can be honest and have an honest conversation to say, I've failed, I'm hurting, there are things I can do better, I've hurt myself and I've hurt other people. Come into a place of confession and repentance for that. And know that your Father is not going to turn you away. He is going to embrace you. His love is absolutely unfailing. That is a guarantee. So that's your thought for the first day of Lent. We'll see you tomorrow.